if you want to mess up your lawn this January watch this video if not watch it again let's see how we can recover it from this absolute mess that it's become Hello YouTube it's been a while since we've been out here it's um, 25th of November I think I did the last feed cut on here and we've had storms we've had rain we've had snow we've had lots of stuff so today it's been dry for a couple of days we'll have a quick walk over but I'm gonna try and get some of this crap off some of these leaves some of these twigs and debris um, and see if we get on quick walk over some dog milk that needs to clean off uh, again this area here it's quite relatively firm underfoot considering uh, thanks to the big trees continually sucking up some of the water that comes around this area here again always struggles this time of year it's been better than other times of year but yeah more than that, this side it's looking reasonable part of the course um apologies for the uh dog neck on it could be coming up on camera there uh obviously we've got the big lumps of Weed grass, your crab grasses, your poa and stuff like that uh, on this uh, overpass you'll see now it's uh, much more, you know, down this side rather than on the other side. Um, and then down the middle, as you can see, it must have been here struggling for food. It's, I don't think there's anything underneath there. Um, it just seems to have taken a bit of what's been going on. But, get the uh, rake out, rake up the last of these leaves because yeah the last time we did a video that was still those trees still had leaves on them that's how long it's been but yeah try to do a bit of a clean up under here it's with the dry weather dryish weather that we've had recently it's not too bad to get the mole right and uh, destroy it uh, this year that's going to go so let's think about what we're going to put there and the reseed it or whatever but yeah let's uh, just give it a bit of a tidy up uh, make it a bit more presentable and uh, also give it a feed because it's not had one since like say 25th of November and it needs one it's struggling so yeah purpose of today get it ready for the upcoming season get some nutrition now now um, I might spray with some iron, we'll see, depending because there's a bit of a breeze. Um, we'll get some of that down, but granule is going to go down on here, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. giving it a bit of a uh, rake a bit of a, a blow just to dislodge some of the uh, leaves that have been trapped inside the uh, long grass so hopefully the hater will give him a bit of a, uh, a lift when we go over it with a mower in a second um, we'll wait and see but um, we'll go for that next just get the mower out get some stripes on it get some feed on it and then leave it forecast is uh, Apparently, more snowstorms and you know colder weather coming. So hopefully by Monday, a bit of rain, wash the feed in. Cause it's still that ICL um, Sports Master Autumn mix, which is very small, very powdery. So it should break down quite quickly and get into the uh, grass and the root zone quite quick um, before the before the forecasted snow comes. But let's wait and see. But yeah, let's uh, get on with that. getting already wow it's quite a lot of grass to begin with
little video. I'll tell you what, let's turn this on. And I'm on 23% battery again. Shocking. Anyone know how to uh, charge a GoPro whilst recording? Let me know so I can do it. Uh, but anyway, the absolute mess. Um, but it's going to happen, and it's uncovered a myriad of concerns. Obviously, we know about the drainage, so you can continually see my footprints in the soft ground at this section of the garden. Whereas in that section, very little on the basis that the trees as I keep mentioning they, they, they enjoy sucking up a lot of the water so that helps this side mention big drainage project we want to get done but we can see also the discoloration so it's not a feed for two months it's been through the it's had a tough time so yeah but look at it it's had, it's had a really tough time this winter it's had excessive amounts of water I can't remember it being a as wet as it has been um, it's had snow it's had early frosts um, but yeah it's it's struggling and it's not had a feed for two months um, so we'll get some feed down on it like I say the ICL and that should hopefully get us through until spring where we can do some major works on it um, I didn't want to do a full renovation but looking at it I might as well do um, because I need to put the drains in and uh, I was going to top dress it with sand and just let the grass go through but see if we just kill it off maybe I don't know let's have a look and see what time and finances allow us to do apologies for the messy corner don't see this very often but anyway but you can see there on the uh, wheels on the roller picking up all this crap so clean that off chuck it in the bin but yeah first cut on here 2024 and I think a lot of you will be uh, experiencing something very similar to this especially new builds if you dare are able to uh, cut your grass so I'll get some feed on now and then uh, that'll be it for this this video on the back obviously I'm going to try and cut the front as well while it's nice but probably a different video